About 50% of employees are basically engaged. They're doing enough work so that they don't get fired and you are paying them enough so they don't quit. Even balance. An engaged employee lights up the room when they come in and a disengaged <laughs> employee, of course, lights up the room when they leave. So on a high performing team, six to one is the positivity ratio. On an average performing team, which is barely surviving, it's three to one. And on a low performing team, it's point three to one. People are hearing three times more negatives than they are positives. It's almost like that old poster. You know, the beatings will continue until morale improves. Doesn't work. Catch your employees doing the right things. Focus on the positive because what gets recognized gets repeated. And in order for us to keep this employee engagement, when we have four generations working in the workplace at the same time, we need to figure out how we're wired so that we can better communicate with each other. Creating a culture where you're connecting with your employees and they know that they feel appreciated. Training and development. Now you might be saying, oh Lisa, if I train and develop my people, they're just going to leave. Well, what if you don't train them and they stay? <laughs> what you are doing right now is affecting where you're going to be five years from now. Where you are right now is a result of what you did five years ago. So we need to start looking at having the discipline. If you want your employees to give you their blood, their sweat, their tears, what you're doing is you're acknowledging them for the work that they do.